What's going on everybody? How's my outdoor crew doing on this Saturday? Hope you enjoyed the opening. Uh, as you can see, I am back to work. COVID update. I am day 9. Almost day 10. Day 10 is tomorrow. Um, feeling pretty decent. Still got a little bit of a cough kicking in every now and then. But... Uh, Outside of that, I'm doing great. Um, the next two COVID victims have fallen. Uh, that would be my wife and Chloe. Uh, they did not get COVID while they were in New York. They got COVID when they got back home to me. <laughs> so, uh, the only one that hasn't gotten it yet, knock on wood, is Chase. Him working nights kind of gives him a way around things I guess you could say he uh, kind of bypasses us quite a bit uh, on time we really see him is on the weekends so this past weekend we pretty well stayed away from each other and so hopefully he'll bypass it I hope God he does um, but it really wasn't my experience wasn't that bad um, I will say this I tested on two different home tests they did not pick it up had to do the PCR test it finally picked it up um, but I'm hearing and a doctor even confirmed it that if you've been vaccinated that the home test more than likely will not pick up the virus it's so minute that the virus is not able to be picked up on a home test now if Chase starts getting sick He's not been vaccinated, so we could probably use a home test on him, and it would probably come back positive if he gets sick. We're hoping he doesn't. So anyway, that's the COVID update. The wife and Chloe are doing good. <clears throat> They're doing fine. Um, mild, mild symptoms, just like me. My, my, to me, my symptoms were no worse than a cold. And, I mean, sore throat, cough, had some sneezing and runny nose kind of thing, but that was about it. Um, it's funny, when they checked my blood ox level uh, the day I went to the doctor, it was at 100. So, from what I'm understanding, you know, and I'm not a doctor, I'm just telling you what they explained to me, that this more affects your bronchial than it does your lungs on this version. So, it can do everybody totally different. So... Don't take my word for anything I've said. I'm just telling you our experience. So enough of that. On to uh, the other stuff. So, um, big announcement. Um, Tuesday's video will be in, uh, Chloe and Heather went to New York. That video, strictly shot by Chloe. Uh, some of the pictures were provided by Heather from her taking pictures. That was definitely a different video to edit because I wasn't there personally. They were there. So I had to go by timestamps and I had Chloe sitting there beside me going, okay, this is when this happened, blah, 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 blah. I felt like it came out really good considering I wasn't there. I think the video, Chloe did a really good job shooting this time. She got what I said about you know shooting the videos and we'll get into that I'll do another video at some point on shooting videos and especially travel videos um, you can overload them and I figured out ways of not overloading the video so anyway stay tuned for that that's Tuesday Tuesday's video hopefully it uploads or comes out without any problems that's the second or third thing I want to talk about um, I shoot videos in um, advance, okay? Uh, even my weekly vlogs, I try to have them done, shot, and ready to go up by Thursday, Friday at the latest. Um, if I'm really pushing it, you know, I do it Friday afternoon, but I try to have it up before Thursday. <clears throat> so I, I shoot the video, edit it, and then I put it on YouTube, set a release date of Saturday, 8 o'clock in the morning. So here of late, my Tuesday videos I set up for Tuesday, 5 o'clock Central Time. 
And I've had a couple of them here recently that don't go up on time or don't go up at all. And I go to check them and think, well, it didn't go up, but it did, but it shows it being dated as back in December. So I don't know what's up with that. It's something to do with YouTube because I've never had that problem until the last couple, last few videos. Um, for the most part, they go up on time and do like they're supposed to. But I've had a couple here recently that have done that where they went to the date that I actually put it on YouTube. They went to that instead of showing that they were released on this date that was selected. So I don't know if any of y'all do that or not, or if you just shoot your videos and they go up that week. But I do shoot some well in advance. Matter of fact, I've got two already on the board ready to go. This be up and ready to go too. So uh, let me know if you have that problem with Danny, Tennessee Deer Stalker. Um, he tells me every now and then that he can't watch the videos all the way through, that they just stop. And I don't know. So I'm hearing that too. So it's weird. I don't understand it. I don't get, <clears throat> don't get why. But it just is. I'm cold right now because it's cold in the garage. I've actually got the heat on. It's like getting down in the 20s tonight out there. So I'm freezing. But anyway, last thing, I got a mail call for you guys from a good buddy of mine has been watching the channel for quite some time. He's got an awesome channel, does Fired Up Fridays. Go check him out. But uh, Michael Burner, there's a sticker. We got to put it on the beer fridge. Go check him out. I'll leave a link down below for his channel. I appreciate him sending the sticker. Buddy, I'll get one out to you. I just realized you're in Louisville, Kentucky. It was just there before, or right before Christmas. So, anyway, uh, I'll be getting stickers out to you probably this weekend. I'll get them done up so I can mail them out. I apologize that it's taking me this long, but being down last week with COVID. Anyway, it was bright and cool to see your sticker come in and your nice note. Um, so that didn't brighten me up quite a bit. But go check his channel out. Tell him to keep his finger out of the off the stick. Don't poke your finger no more. <laughs> hey, accidents happen in outdoor stuff. So we're going to get set up over yonder. We're going to put the sticker on the fridge and see what all we got. Okay, stickers on the fridge. So let's take a look. Cat in the North, AK Driller. There's me. Hiking with Sean. Kurt Zinselman, Mr. Bullet Points. The Real Cobra Burnout, Travels with Delaney, Handy Camper, Eat Travel Happy, Native Tears, TN Deer Stalker, Outdoors, James G, Outdoor CT, RVA Hiker Girl, Judy Spirit, Mickelson Family, Barb's Country Home, Get Dirty with the Nature, Nature Man, and there's Michael Brunner right there. Okay, so we're going to wrap this video up. Thank you, Michael, for the sticker for the beer fridge. Thank you for being a good friend. Thank all of y'all for being such a good friends. And for all the love out there on the channel, I appreciate it. Just getting bigger. Just doing more things. <clears throat> Got some things coming in the pipe. Me and Mr. Deerstalker. Cough break. Anyway, me and Mr. Durr Stalker have got something going in the works for a YouTuber meetup. We'll be coming up with the dates, location very soon. Uh, me and him are actually going to go meet at the location. We'll probably shoot us a, hey, come come camp with some YouTubers. I will say where we'll be staying, there is a hotel there too. and No, cabins. So if you wanted to rent a cabin, if you want a few of you to go in together and rent a cabin, strictly up to you. We're all going, the rest of us will be camping, whether it be a camping trailer, tent, whatever. I'd like to see everybody come in. Let's have a good weekend of fellowship. COVID. <laughs> um, let's just have a good time with it. So I will let you know more once I have it all nailed down. Um, but that's it for this one. Appreciate you subscribing, sharing it, liking it and commenting all that good stuff remember if you want to see a video idea 
leave a link down below or leave a question down below. It may turn into a video. Be prepared. See you on the next one.